Hey guys, what's up? It's Dem here. Thank you for tuning in to another one of these videos and for coming back to my channel and showing your love and support. Before we get started today, I just want to say thank you so, so, so much. Like, I feel like I'm doing this in every video, but I'm genuinely so appreciative of all the love and support that I've been getting on these videos. All these comments and I've gotten direct messages on Instagram, like, saying, I'm a fan from South Africa and I'm just like, what, what do you mean? in South Africa, it's mind-boggling to me, but I just want to let you guys know that I am so appreciative of your kind words, like every comment that I get, even the hate comments, like at least you still took the time to watch the video, you know what I'm saying? There are specific, like a couple few people that, that have been really supportive and like will comment on every video and just show their love and that really goes a long way because like sometimes it just takes like a couple words to just brighten up someone's day and I think that... You guys are amazing. So recently I've been getting a lot of comments through like my Instagram DMs and on my videos asking me to do a everyday hair tutorial now that my hair is straight because I've done one when it was curly but now things are a little bit different. As you can see my hair is definitely different from the last time you saw me. In my New York vlog it was very long. It was maybe like five inches. It would come a bit, like down to my ear kind of and now it's significantly shorter. I did cut it. I It was just time to like let some hair go I think and I just wanted a new look because you know me I'm changing my hair up every week and <laughs> I'm kind of like bipolar when it comes to that but my hair is a little bit different the color is a little bit different it's more of like a bluish gray tone to it now that happened because I actually there was a, like a little mistake that happened with my hair and someone tried dyeing it a color and it didn't work out but then as I washed it it got to this color that I really love so today I decided that I will do a hair tutorial for you guys with how I straighten my hair. So, let's get to it. So first off, I use this great, great product. I got it with a pack of like shampoo and conditioner, and it is by Matrix. So this is basically an elixir. It's called a Break Fix Elixir. And I put in my hair, I squeeze basically like a couple. Oh, I'm running out. Oh my God. Okay, well I'm running out of this, so I don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't know where to, f okay. So I squeeze like four pumps. I don't know if you can really see that. It looks a little gross. And then I just apply it into my hair. All around. Get it in there, get it in the roots. I also leave in some conditioner just because my hair is very dry from all the bleach and everything. So put that in my hair. And now we're gonna get started with the actual process. So when I straighten my hair, there's always a few essential products that I use, well products, tools that I use. First and foremost, a blow dryer, because my hair is not that easy to manage, so like I need to blow dry it out straight first, and then I'll move on to the flat iron process. With the blow dryer, I use two barrel brushes. So this one is, the bristles are a little bit more scratchy, if you hear that, whereas these, they're more plasticky and a little bit thicker. So this I'll start off with on my hair because it just like gets through the hair easier and then as my hair dries it's easier to use this brush. So let's get started. So as you'll notice, I started wearing my hair a little bit differently. It's kind of more of like a faux hawk now, and I kind of just wear it like pushed up to the front, not so much to the side anymore because I was kind of over that look. It was kind of just like been there, done that, I was done with it. So I decided to do something new. So this I love so much more, and you'll see that I'm just blow drying towards the front and kind of creating the look that I want with the blow dryer, and then I'll set it with the flat iron. So you really want to make sure that you are drying the hair as best as you possibly can. You don't want to have like any wet roots because when you put the flat iron through that, that's not a recipe for anything great. It's a recipe for disaster. Also, if you guys are questioning what this is on the side of my face, I don't know what it is. It literally grew like three days ago and I don't know if it's like an under the skin pimple, but I'm hoping that's gonna go away soon because it's really scary and really unattractive. So this is my hair blow dried. As you can see, it's a lot different, the color. It's more of like a bluish gray and it's really cool. I really love it. And so now we're gonna get started on the flat iron process. So I'm gonna turn that on, let it get red pee. 
so exciting. So now that the flat iron has heated up, I just like to, I start from the back first, just because, I mean, it's just easier for me. I will just section it off as best as I can. Obviously my hair is not as long anymore, so I just have to work with what I have. If you're trying to achieve like kind of like this like faux hockey look, I hate the word faux hawk because I feel like it's like so 2008. I basically flat iron like in a curved form forward. So with the front, the front I really focus on a lot. When I'm ironing it, I will grab sections like this and I'm going to flat iron outwards and up so that it creates this little like, like a, a wave, I don't know. Cause like my hair has a tendency to kind of like go inward so I'm trying to make it go outwards. So once I'm done with that, let it sit for a second, look at myself in the mirror for a little bit, you know, the usual. I'm ridiculous. After that's done, I put two products in my hair, and these products are very important to me, and kind of just the icing on the cake, basically, you know? So the first product that I use is Moroccan oil, and I just put a little bit, a dab of it in my hand, and I will just run it through all of my hair just to give it some shine. Like that much, if you could see, it's like sliding off my hand. But yeah. So we're just gonna like toss that in really quick. I don't wanna like saturate it, so that's why I just like run it through as fast as I possibly can. Yeah. Just so it doesn't get like too oily and like too, Thanks. ugh. Like, I don't want my hair to get like frizzy again, you know? So the last product that I use, and I recently started using this product, I've always put, when I do straighten my hair, I always put a paste in it at the end, just because it just adds a little bit of hold to the hair. I just think it's essential. It just like helps you style it better. So if you want it to be in a certain position, add a little bit of wax or pomade, whatever you want to call it, and it just like, a little bit goes a long way. So this product I just started using, it is called Star Wax, and it's a pomade, and they have a bunch of different varieties of their waxes. This was actually sent for me just to try it out, see if I like the product, and I'm, I'm actually really happy with it. I honestly can't complain. You want to just grab a little bit, like I literally just scoop a little bit onto my index finger, and then toss it straight into my hair. And you don't want to go too heavy in one section because then it's gonna like clump up the hair and that's not what you want. You just want to just throw it in there, get it all over the place, disperse it, and just kind of style the hair in the form that you want it to be styled in. Also, this clay smells Amazing. Like, I would literally rub it on my body if I could because it, it almost smells like cologne. It is. It's so good. Wow. Like, I. Uh, every time I put it in my hair, I'm just like. I love, like, going outside and, like, letting the wind hit my hair because I just get, like, a woof of the, like, the smell and it's so good. So, I will leave the link to this product down below in the description and you guys can check them out if you want. It's also really good because it's such a big jar. Like, this will literally last me months like a very long time because like I only use a little bit of it and you should only use a little bit of it so this will last you a very very long time yeah so make sure you guys check them out star wax premium pomade they're great so that my friends is basically my hair it's done yep you see so you can tell it's a lot different than what it was a few weeks ago it's a little bit younger it's a little bit more like refreshed and I'm really content with it I'm actually really happy with my hair right now. But yeah, so this is my hair. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you guys. If you guys have similar hair to mine and you guys are trying to like figure out how you could style it effectively and how you could straighten it effectively, I hope this helped. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. You guys know that I'm so, like, I can't say it enough. I'm so appreciative of your guys' support. Like, it really means the world to me. So just thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this video, obviously give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Tell me if you like my hair. Oh, and also if you have any ideas for future videos, if you guys want to see anything else, Leave me a message below, send me a DM on Instagram, email me, whatever you want. Let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like, and I will work with that. So thank you guys so much, I will see you guys next time, tune in, and we're done. Peace. Bye.